Hi. Hi, I'm Skeletime. Time. I don't want to play that game, though. I'll play that game. This game's alright. You better be worth it, though. Oh, dodge, dodge, dodging. Oh, you didn't dodge that one, you crazy... Oh, bag of bones. Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Cuba World. With your old pal Skello Time and his buddy Major Briggs, we are making our way through the ocean. I was wrecking a little bit of face on the way over here, and I seem to have found not only an area of land, but a castle, and this little fellow over here, the seagull, which I happened to, while I was headed this way, find a salted caramel, which I think... I think, I think, if I'm not mistaken, is the food for a seagull. Or I could be mistaken. <laughs> Dang it. What was it? Ginger tartlet, maybe? I don't have one of those. Well, I've never seen a seagull before, so I'm going to try and remember where this place is. And uh, maybe I'll come back here when I figure out the proper thing. But until then, eh, you'll respawn, right? Yeah, you will. Let's wreck him. Oh yeah, and we also gotta get Briggs back out here. Briggs! Where you at, boy? Briggs? Oh, Scrappy the monkey? Scrappy! I'm gonna let you roll with me for a little bit. It's been a while, my good friend, Scrapper. Scrapperson. And also, I'm so glad we found this piece of land, because I am running out of heart flowers. I am actually out of heart flowers, running out of potions. So I need to go do some gathering around here. That's gonna be my plan. I almost got hit by a giant ball of flame! Hey, you up there! Be careful what you're be careful where you're pointing your magics. Be careful. I don't wanna to have to come up there and teach you a lesson. Especially if you're stronger than I am. In which case I definitely don't wanna to have to do that. Oh jeez! How's it going, Radishling? Guess I'll have to teach you too. And these guys, uh, they don't seem too tough, right? Let's chase them down. Hey boys! How you doing? Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, very good, very good. Oh, both mages. Oh, yikes. That was a bad idea. That was such a bad idea. Dodging like a maniac. Let's get the heck out of here. Woo! We're fine. They're not chasing. Oh, they are there. Of course they're chasing us. Why wouldn't they? Let's go take a little run around the uh, island here. Assuming it's an island. That's what I saw, right? Oh, it's a red island. Uh, I'm not going to be going in that castle anyways. I'm going to get all the feathers I can. And I'll take one shot at the castle. You know me. I'm not going to just let it go. i got to go in there and at least get my face wrecked once. But I'm going to try not to use any potions. Hey, buddy. Nice to meet you. Skeleton time here. Yeah, thanks for the XP. So, uh... uh <laughs> Pie tells me he's at level 17. Rivets, I, don't, I haven't seen his latest episode, but I'm sure he's at like 25, 30 by now. <laughs> uh, and I don't know about F-Dog. <clears throat> Shame we couldn't get to play this weekend together. But, uh, oh man, hopefully he'll be there next time. Ah, he was missed indeed. It's nice to have four. Four is a nice even number, you know. Three was alright, we managed, but I feel like we got our faces wrecked a couple times. It may, may have gone a little better for us. But anyways, as usual, we make do with what we have, always. Get wrecked, fool! Thank you. Thank you for listening to me and getting wrecked appropriately. Where's all the heart flowers at? That's what I'm here for. I need some... Oh, squirrel. Squirrel! Squirrel! I don't want to... I kind of don't want to mess with the squirrel right now. Ah, he's a blue guy. He's a blue guy. He'll be fine. Oh, yeah, no worries. Give me that XP. Thank you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, oh, yes, yeah. so the goal is to level up. Oh, you need to do some serious work. And uh, I've got some time this week, which I, I understand that I say that quite a bit more than I guess I actually follow through on my plans to do a bunch of stuff. Bunnies! Don't even think. Don't even think twice about it. Thank you, Scrappy. Why don't you take this fella? There you go. 
give you a little hand. You're still a little guy. You're still a little guy. Only level four. Poor little fella. Okay, there's got to be heart flowers around here. Heart flowers. Give me them heart flowers. Where? There's one. Hello. Thank you. Whew. Whew. Yeah, uh, so I'm level, what, 13? Almost 14? I got some work to do. I'm going to try and get a bunch of episodes recorded tonight so I can be putting stuff up all week. Uh, and then any and then any extra stuff, Orco Time episodes and face records, will just be extra. But still, I'm trying to get Skello daily. If for no other reason, well, of course, primarily so that all of you fine people can have something enjoyable to watch on the YouTubes from your good pal Armor Time here. Uh, and uh, Skeletal Time is the perfect one because he's got to do the work anyways, right? So if I get him out daily, then anything else is just bonus. We got face records, we got Orco Time. This guy is going to be leveling up strong. Orco Time's in no rush to level up. He's pretty powerful already. But, uh, you know, couldn't hurt, couldn't hurt. Always good to have a strong orc in your back pocket. Oh, this is some nice underwater caving we got down here. Oh, it leads right out. Oh, man. Cool. This game. This game is always impressing me. Always impressing me. Impression me. This secondary move, I'm not quite sure about yet. I think I think I remember B-Dubs talking about it back when he started his character. But, like, if I do it, if I do it, I do this little sneak thing. And then, what? Did I get more... I don't understand how it works. I don't understand how it works. Let's take a look in here. You hide in the shadows to camouflage yourself. Stealth increases damage, critical strike, and MP regeneration. Your sneaking speed is increased. Huh. Okay, so I guess it does do something for us. But do I have to, like, sneak up until... Is that... Did that do great? Was that great? Was that great? <laughs> if that was great, put it in the comments. Let me know. Let me know what you think about that move there. And if I'm using it right. Oh, I don't have it right now. Oh, there it is. Sneaking. Sneaking. Oh, these! So I think... I don't know if I used that properly. I don't get it. Armor's lost. Armor's lost. Maybe I pressed the wrong... Okay, so that's going down as we... I'm still sneaking. I'm sneaking up on somebody. <laughs> I look amazing. Look at me on the tippy toes. They should make your pet sneak too. Wouldn't that be ridiculous? All right, let's let's sneak up on these gormlings. Can I double sneak? I don't know. I don't think. Oh, there's a witch. Okay, these witches get sneaked up on. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. 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 Oh, macaronis. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, come on, Skello. Yes. Oh, Skello time. That was close, dude. I don't know. Do you think my sneak saved my buns? My little skeleton buns? Let me know. Let me know what you think about that sneak a sneak. Because I am unsure. I assume it's going to get better. It's probably one of those things that comes more noticeable in time. Oh, heart flower collecting. I am all about that right now. I'm all about that. I'm all about that. Another thing I'm all about is the rain. No, not in the game. There ain't no rain in this game. Is there? No, there isn't rain. That'd be an interesting thing, having some weather patterns and stuff like that. There are different biomes, which I guess is kind of like different weather. But all of a sudden, if it just started raining, kind of like Minecraft, right? Uh, I don't want to compare the two, because there's already too many inaccurate comparisons of this game. I mean, on the surface, yeah, it's blocky. You run around. Um, but, like, I don't know. Minecraft is all about mining and crafting. And this, sure, there's quote-unquote mining and crafting, but it's all very, very simple. And most of the game mechanics are nothing like Minecraft at all. So, yeah, that's my little rant about that, at least. Hope you enjoyed. Let's get some more heart flowers. I know I just went by the... Uh, doorway there. Take him out, Scrappy. Do the work. Hey, get him. Thank you. And you fools, get on the ground. You see that shot? That was such a great shot. Oh, I just pressed the sneak button. Whoops. Whoops. Mushroom, I'll take it. 
Yeah, so we just went past the door, but I'm going to take another little, little wander around looking for those nice shiny red flowers. Oh, this is the way that I just came from. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, let's go back out this way. Ah, oh, sheep. Sheep. But uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, rain. Rain. Today, in the in the city of Toronto, or Toronto, as it's called by Torontonians, you just drop the last T there, because who needs two T's in the name of a city, right? So Toronto, in Toronto, we uh, it's raining like crazy, which is awesome. I mean, it's not the most rain I've ever seen. Ooh, free stuff. Thanks, buddy. By the way, that's my chicken nugget. I'll take it. Oh yeah, you try and drink that potion. You just try. Wow, you did a really good job of that. Congratulations. Whew. Didn't last too long though. Chicken! I'll take mine with barbecue sauce, please. But, uh, okay, first rain, then barbecue sauce. Nah, it's side tangent. Barbecue sauce. Love it. Favorite nugget sauce. A lot of people are all about the sweet and sour, which, mm, I don't know, it's pretty good. Pretty good, I guess. There's a turtle down here. Hey, are you, do you know moves? Do you know moves, the turtle? No? Ooh, he's coming this way. Ah, we'll fight him. He doesn't know moves. He's not a friend of ours. He is a tank, though, which is a little bit why I was concerned. Eh, we're good. We wrecked his face. What else did we expect? Uh, okay, so barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce, that was it. And then rain, okay. Hey, I'm not losing my track today! Usually I can't remember the topics to go back to them. But today I'm doing alright. But, uh, okay, yeah. The BBQ has got to be my favorite. McDonald's? McDonald's, for sure. Wendy's, though? Barbecue is amazing. I like above and beyond. Oh, my mouth is watered and just thinking about it. But, um... When it comes to barbecue sauces and sweet and sour, Wendy's has a little bit better of sweet and sour. It's a harder choice for me, but I, I think I'd still land on the barbecue. And then there's those people that get honey. Honey or honey mustard. I'm like, really? I mean, yeah, it's good, but on a chicken nugget? Not really. It's more of like a hot dog. Well, honey mustard, anyway. So mo honey is like, you put that in your tea, man. You don't put that on a nugget. I mean, to each their own, of course. I'm not here to judge. If you like nuggets with honey, you eat your nuggets with honey. I'm just saying, for me, it's all about the barbecue sauce. All about that barbecue sauce. Maybe it's because I was born in Calgary, Alberta, out in the west, where the cowboys are from, and barbecue sauce seems like the kind of thing that... necessary, you know? On your steak, and burgers. I'd rather eat barbecue sauce and ketchup any day. Personally, maybe that's just me. I know there's a, people who love ketchup on everything. Like, fries, yeah, makes sense. But, like, eggs, maybe? Oh, the sink. That was a bad move. But, uh, I don't know, like, everything. Like, craft Dinner? Keep that ketchup off my craft Dinner. Give me some pepper. Give me some hot sauce. And in this case, like, even barbecue sauce. I would take that. I would take that, and I would do that. It makes sense to me more than more than ketchup. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, but yeah, like even hamburgers. I don't need ketchup on a hamburger. Mustard is a necessary thing. Ketchup, not so much. I'm, I don't need it. I don't need it. Put it on the side with the fries. That's where it belongs. Ketchup and fries. Like together at last. Together forever. Uh, the rain. The rain, the rain, the rain, the rain. So it's raining a ton. And uh, a lot of people might complain about the rain. Not just because it rhymes. A lot of people might complain, getting wet. Oh, I'm getting wet. I'm ruining my hair. I didn't bring my umbrella. And I'm like, forget it. Wash down on me, I say. I let my hair down. Put my hood down. I'm rolling around outside. Just letting it drip on me. That's that's my ideal. As long as you can, like, as long as you don't have to go somewhere and be dry. Like, I was on my way home today. I'm saying like a lot today, so I'm sorry about that. I was on my way home. I took the bus, but then I get off the bus and I'm walking. About five minutes down the street. Just getting soaked and loving it. For a lot of people, it's like something to complain about. But me, no, no, no. I just said like again. Dang it! For me, it's a, it's a thing. It feels so good. It feels refreshing. 
It's like a like a shower, and that was a proper use of like. I think that was a that was a simile. Uh, yeah, that was a simile. A comparison using like or as. Doing some English. Doing some English lessons. I hope this turtle doesn't kill me. Don't kill me, turtle. 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 Hold on. Hey, cool it. Cool it, turtle. Oh, did I just ginger turtle? Oh no, I already have one. It was the other thing I was looking for. Salted caramel. Salted caramel is the thing I need for a seagull. Pretty sure. Pretty sure about that. We got any more bats in this cave? I just don't want to waste my one move on the on the one bat. Anybody else? Want a piece? Oh, you guys want to? You guys want to mess? Oh, I missed it anyways. Whatever. I was trying to hit the silver at the same time. That's what I get. Oh, I'm doing a sneak now because I accidentally hit the button. We're gonna sneak up on this guy right here. Oh, how'd you like that, fool? I think it is working. I'm pretty sure because it seems like it seems like my initial hit is generally let's see, 20. Whoa. Or seven. Seven seems to be my like generic hit. So I think if I'm hitting them for all that, then well, that's all good. Anyways, ooh, another another English lesson. Pathetic fallacy. Anybody know what that is? Put up your hand. Oh yeah, yeah. I see you got your hand up. Oh, oh yeah, okay, good. Yeah, that's correct. Awesome. <laughs> For anybody who didn't hear uh, that response from uh, that random viewer, insert your name here, what, uh, what it is is when it's like an English literary term where uh, the, the weather or the environment is kind of indicating the feeling or the, the uh, emotion that is happening. So... For example, the rain today would would be pathetic fallacy for for somebody if they felt like maybe today was like a really bad day, they were really depressed, and, and then it's raining. It's like the, that's a pathetic fallacy. That's what that means. Uh, but for me, it's kind of the same thing. Like I'm having a great day, and to top it off, it's raining. So uh, it's kind of a reverse thing for me. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of a strange. I'm a strange. What do they call it? strange brew a strange brew uh, or a strange breed all right we gotta level up what do we got 50 more XP to get 50 more XP and then I'm gonna call this one an app let's see what we can do let's see uh, maybe fly around a bit I don't want to fight that ogre but should I I only have a few potions left oh I can make more now I forgot I've been picking up our flowers for days days well the one day really let's go to crafting I can make three more I'm sure I have more bottles let's get in the water oh hello hey Uncle Leroy is that you no 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 it's not Uncle Leroy it just kind of looks like him Our family kind of has the similar traits I'll take that money though thank you very much anybody else want to do battles so I don't have to fight that ogre Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? But, uh, oh yes, the rain, the rain. Mm. Okay, hi. Hi, I'm Skello Time. I don't want to play that game, though. I'll play that game. This game's alright. You better be worth it, though. Oh, dodge, dodge, dodging. Oh, you didn't dodge that one, you crazy... Oh, bag of bones. Oh jeez. Roll roll out. Okay, sneak up on him. Even though he's right there. Attack! That did nothing. Oh jeez. Oh. Good thing I made these potions, eh? Shoot. Shoot, what have I gotten myself into? I should not have done it. Should not have done it. Oh I'm scrappy. My poor little monkey friend. Okay, we got this fool. We just gotta roll out. We just gotta roll out whenever we can. Stay out of his way when he's doing his moves. And just keep getting our moves back. Oh, jeez, roll out. You fool. Take some of this! Oh, that hurt. <laughs> Two more. Okay, we got this. We got this. This fool is gonna eat my steel. Good job, Scrappy. 
Get him. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Well, it was a good job. Oh. Feels so good, man. Feels so good. All right. We are, we are making our way in the world today. It takes everything we got. Taking a break from all my troubles sure can help a lot. Sometimes you just want to go where everybody knows your name. And for me, that's here on the YouTubes because you're subscribed to my channel and you know who I am because it's like right on the front page of my channel. It says Armor Time right there. <laughs> for anybody who doesn't know, I know Rivet got that one. Rivet and F-Dog are probably laughing their butts off. But uh, cheers, cheers. It's a TV show. <laughs> A little before my time, but uh, I did have parents who were all about that. If you don't know Frasier, that show, well then you are even younger than I can imagine at this point. I don't even know what it would be like. But lucky you, you have a full long life ahead of you. You haven't made all the mistakes that I've made. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, good, good show, good show. Good show indeed. There was some classic classic characters. Uh, not only on Cheers, but Frasier the spin-off, which is what I was going to say. Wow! My mom used to watch Frasier all the time. Major Briggs! No, that's not Briggs. You're just an imposter! How dare you? How dare you? Whoa! What do we got here? Scubble coming after me still? Come on. You wanna fight? You wanna fight? I'll show you what it's all about. Oh, hey, you are very hard. Very, very, very hard. Oh man, is this worth it? Is this worth it for me to be fighting this guy? I am not sure. I should be dodging a lot more than I am. Let's drink a potion. Let's get down on some level playing field here. Thank you, and you, and dodge. We got this. Ring around the skull Pocket full of, well, I would say potions, but I'm really not full of potions. In fact, I should seriously contemplate making a couple after this battle. Otherwise, jeez. I wish I could give potions to my poor monkey friend. What a little, little poor guy. Alright, we are almost there. We were so close. Oh, I don't think I ever finished my thought about the rain, but basically, I am all about it. I think I should live in British Columbia. I hear it doesn't snow there. And it just rains all the time. I think that's the place I need to live. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Oh my goodness. Get wrecked, bunnies. You know I hate you so much. Why do you keep coming back? Oh, come on. Are you going to do it? Oh, one more XP. That's all I need. One more. Oh, there's a witch up there. Should we risk it for the biscuit? Okay. We are out. We are out of bottles. I got one potion, and I got one witch. Can it be done? We will see. We will see. Oh, get wrecked. Everybody, it has been a wonderful day. I would like to thank you for coming out to see another episode of Cube World with your good friend Skeletime here. And Scrappy, our monkey, who is almost leveled up himself. What a cutie. All right, folks. Until next time, we will see you next time. Take care of each other. Peace.